On the next day, is lifting both arms and legs. Keep your back straight, flat on the floor and relax. This exercise can help you avoid lower back pain and neck tired while still working effectively on your core. And imagine you are pulling your core muscles. Make them straight. This is what we are doing. Did you feel it? Raise your toes, your arms straight, hold your tummy tight, breathe in and out and stay in this position for 30 seconds. Second move is low plank. Keep your lower back a little bit off so you can avoid lower back pain. After weight loss or pregnancy, lower back pain is very common. We are going to make it easier to enjoy. I'm all up in to some of you, dark as your core and low up. Just walk in and walk back. Tighten your core muscles. This is the key to get the results. That's correct, Bean. Thank you, that going. I'm all up in the clouds with a boring day. Ain't never coming down this your coming day. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day. Like day by day. your arms above the ground and hold in this position for 40 seconds. You can see I'm breathing slowly and focus completely on my core. exercise to try to follow along with me. So we are trying to connect your core muscles gradually.
actually feel it more effective if I lift my neck off the ground and use my hands to support my neck. This way I can focus on my core muscles. Of course, you can rest your head on the ground if you need, but just feel which way is more effective for you. Nice, on building tempo speed. your midsection in this exercise. Again, rest your neck on the floor if you need, but I feel it's more effective if you can lift it. <laughs> 